This is an instructional video on changing numbers from standard to scientific notation. When we're changing numbers from standard to scientific notation, there are three things to note. First, we are always going to use a base number of 10. I know some of these steps might not make sense just yet, but once we do some examples, they will. The second thing is we are going to move the decimal behind the first number. And the last piece of important information is that the number of places moved is the exponent. The exponent refers to whether it is a big number, so big numbers are going to be positive exponents, small numbers are going to be negative exponents. Write 63,120,000 in scientific notation. So I'm going to take my number, 63120000. In this number, the decimal place starts at the end. We are going to move it behind the first number, behind the 6, which means we have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Now, when we come to writing our answer, we only have to write the numbers, 6.312. We do not need to write zeros. Zeros are not important. Then we write times 10, and it will always be times 10. And then we write our exponent, 7. 63,120,000 is a big number, so that is a positive exponent. We move the decimal seven times. That's where the seven came from. And that's our final answer. Now for this next problem, again, we're going to take our decimal, which is here at the end. If there's no decimal written, it always starts at the end. We're going to move it behind the first number, which is a 5. Now this is going to take us a while. We have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have to move it 24 times. Now when we write our answer, we write it as 5.974. We do not write the zeros. They are not important. Always write the times 10, and then our exponent is a positive 24 because that is a very large number. We move the decimal 24 times. We're going to write 64,500 in scientific notation. We take the decimal, which is here at the end. We move it behind the first number, which is a 6. When we do that, we move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 times. When we write our answer, 6.45, do not write the zeros, they are not important. Always write times 10, and then it's to the fourth power. It's positive because 64,500 is a large number, and we've moved the decimal four times. So we're going to write this number in scientific notation. Again, we want to move the decimal point, the decimal points here at the front, we want to move it behind the first real number. Not counting the zeros, the first number is a 5. So we want the decimal to go after the 5. So we're going to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4 times. And when we write our answer, we write it as 5.2. We do not write the zeros. We always write times 10 and we write it to the negative fourth power. It's a negative four because that is a very small number. Zeros in front mean that it's a decimal um, that is less than a whole number, so it is a very small value. So it's going to be a negative exponent, and it's a negative four because we moved the decimal place four times. 
We're going to take this number and write it in scientific notation by taking the decimal that is in the front and writing it behind the first number that's not a zero. So getting rid of all the zeros, the first number is a nine. We want the decimal to go behind the nine. So that means we move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five times. And when we write our answer, we do not write the zeros. We simply write the numbers 9.81 times 10, always times 10, to the negative fifth power. It's negative because the zeros in front tell us it is a small decimal. And then 5 because we've moved it 5 times. Now for this one, there is no decimal in the problem. So if that happens, the decimal is here at the end. We want to move the decimal behind the first number. The first number is a 1, so we want the decimal to go behind it. To move the decimal, we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. And when we write the final answer, we do not write the zeros. So it's just 1.85, always times 10, and in this case to the 6th power. It's a positive six because that is a very large number, 1,850,000. And we've moved the decimal six times. To change this number into scientific notation, we're going to move the decimal point that's here in the front behind the first number that is not a zero. The first number that's not a zero is a seven, and we want the decimal point to go behind it, meaning we have to move it one, two, three times. When we write our answer, we do not write the zeros. We write it as 7.826, always times 10, to the negative third. It's negative because the zeros in the front of the number tell us that it is a small decimal. And then 3, because we've moved the decimal three times. Now, taking this number and writing it in scientific notation, we take the decimal that is in the front. We want to move it behind the first number that's not a zero. So getting rid of all of these zeros in the front, the first number is a one, and we want the decimal to go behind it. So we have to move it one, two, three, four, five times. We do not write any of the zeros in our final answer. We just write the one. So we can write one times 10 to the negative fifth power. You do not have to put the decimal in this instance because there is nothing behind it, no other numbers that we need to write down, only the whole number one. We always write times 10, and it's a negative five because the zeros in the front tell us that it is a small number. Small numbers are represented by negative exponents. It's a five because we moved the decimal five times. Last problem. 42,000. In this problem, there is no decimal point, meaning it's here at the end. We want to move it behind the first number, which is a 4, so it's behind the 4. To do that, we have to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 times. When we write the final answer, we write it as 4.2, but do not write the zeros. We always write times 10, and it's to the positive fourth power. 42,000 is a large number. Large numbers are represented by positive exponents. The exponent is a 4 because we moved the decimal point 4 times. 